Finally, before we go, villagers in Zimbabwe can now open bank accounts, but not with their money, rather with their animals. In a unique kind of banking where owners are being asked to bring in their animals for bank transactions. Timmy Tokpe Fatsuashi has a story. Zimbabwean villager Jeremiah Ngandu is making a deposit in the bank. It has four legs, bellows, and makes deposits of its own in the pasture. The nation's first cattle bank has just opened its books in a unique kind of banking. In this system, owners are being asked to bring in their animals as a cat deposit, enabling them to withdraw and borrow money against the value while retaining ownership. Before each deposit, the cattle is evaluated and valued by a veterinary official. Their values range from as little as 50 US dollars to 800 US dollars, depending on their age, weight, health and breed. Jeremiah says he has decided to try out the program and will decide whether to invest more of his cattle after an initial try. I have decided to try this out by sending two of my cows. If it works out, I will send more. The livestock transactions are managed like those of any commercial or urban bank, such that interest can be paid in cash or cows. The bank picks up the cost of transporting the cattle from outlying areas to paddocks it has set up across the country, where fattening programs and crossbreeding have been introduced. Many cattle owners may be reluctant to give up their prized possessions, but this bank executive says cattle banking eases the burden of tending to and herding cattle. Once the bank has accepted the cattle, it is responsible for any losses. So we are giving them a chance to, to, to get onto the financial systems and be able to pay financial inclusion. The cattle bank insists they want to reassure its depositors and Zimbabweans at large who have lost faith in the nation's formal banking system that their living and breathing savings are safe. TVC News.